It's only a hundred feet from where the cows are milked to where the cheese is made. We turn it into cheese and sell it at the farm shop, which is another hundred feet from the creamery. That just makes my heart sore when I think people are able to get quality product from the grasses that are under their feet. My name is Peter Kindle. I am the cheesemaker at Dalesford Organic Farm. Cheese was one of the first things Carol Bamford decided to make on the farm, and so the creamery has been here since its very beginning. We make 10 different cheeses. There's yogurt, there's kefir, it's never boring. The best thing about coming to work in the morning, I think, is to be able to create artisan products that are based on nutrition and sustainability. Before tasting the cheese, you have to smell it. The aromas, especially something as complex as cheddar, it's really intoxicating. There are two main iconic cheeses at Dalesford. I think number one would be the cheddar. It's been the cornerstone of the business. Dalesford actually produced the first ever organic British cheddar back in 2001. The second, I think, would be our single Gloucester, which can only be made using milk from Gloucester cows, a rare heritage breed who were at risk of extinction back in the 70s. We are now one of only six producers uh, with an old Gloucester herd in the UK. Most of the milk that we use for our cheese comes from our dairy herd of pedigree British Frisians. They're the beautiful black and white cows and their milk is wonderfully balanced for cheese making. What we need right now is to be celebrating our agricultural communities. We're part of the fabric of modern day life and that's something that's in danger of being lost. When you can follow something from the soil to the grass, to the animal, and then to the end product, whether it's the cheese or the milk, I think that connection needs to be brought back into the spotlight.